Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and we're continuing with Cortana's series of which era of aircraft can do a certain thing most efficiently. Cortana, what's going on today? All right, so today is sort of a logical follow on to that and we are intercepting a formation of B-17s. We have 64 B-17s that are going to come down and bomb Khan. And they are escorted by a, a pair of flights, uh, one of P-47s and one of P-51s. This sounds painful already, Cortana. Yep. Also, to make our lives a little bit easier, I've worked with Vorad, and he has developed a new script that will actually count the number of bombs that they drop within a certain area. So we should have a more definitive marker for the impact that we're having. Right, because last time the only problem was we didn't have a real metric to measure the effectiveness of the actual bombers, how many got through. Okay, as ever, we'll be defending with various eras of aircraft. First, World War II era aircraft, then Generation 1 jets, Sabres, and MiG-15s, then Generation 2 and 3 jets, F-5s, MiG-19s, MiG-21s, F-1s, F-4 Phantoms, and so on, and then, of course, Generation 4 aircraft, F-14s, F-16s, F-18s, and so on. Guys, predictions. Last time, we got a wonderful data set, and there's nothing better in life. I'm sure you'd all agree. as a great data set. What we found is that the more modern the era of aircraft incrementally got better at shooting the bombers down, kind of as you would expect. If that didn't happen, we would probably be doing something wrong. But also, the cost went up incrementally as well. Does anyone argue that that's going to be different today or got any other ideas today? I think that's probably going to continue to follow. I think the Cold War jets and the World War II aircraft will be closer than the Cold War jets and the modern jets. Now, what was the thing that made the fighter better at shooting down the bomber? I guess it was a mix, wasn't it, guys? It was speed, getting to the bomber in time, and then it was firepower. Um, moving from guns to missiles and then missiles to modern missiles and, and so on, wasn't it, guys? Cortana, do you know if the B-17 struggle from the same missile absorption problem as the uh, JU-88s we had last week? They do. They can suck a couple up before they go down. So larger warheads help. Uh, I did some testing and it looks like things like the Phoenix, believe it or not, still won't take down an individual mm -hmm. aircraft 100% mm -hmm. of the time, but it'll also splash damage nearby aircraft that's good right as ever it is always fun we'll start with world war ii aircraft simba in a dora matrix in a 109 cap dora cortana door wow we're all going german fly 109 sock mosquito bird p51 now why have we gone for the germans that's because we've learned from the last time viewers p51 is a brilliant all-round plane debatably the best warbird ever made but when it came to absolute interception you know getting as high and as quick as fast as possible it's all about horsepower per ton and horsepower in general and nothing beats the dora really for horsepower and power to weight ratio over 2000 horsepower the mustangs just could not keep up last time and it really struggled hence we've gone german this time mw50 uh, aspirated it's just the best thing guys does anyone disagree with that from what we've learned so far it's exactly what they built for uh, what they built to the for. end of the war. Right, turn that on, check, turn that on, check, test. Sweet, the guns don't work. Guns do work. Uh, you're on the ground and the propeller is not moving fast enough. Roger, kept rolling. Right, um, I've not tried flying this for a long time, guys, so expect a miserable takeoff. Where are you? Which one are you, Cortana? Uh, See you, More moves. left center of the runway. I don't. Right, Cortana, um, when you're ready, please take off. Hold on, like, like this, this, kind of, this thing, guys. Not so bad. Mm. 
no as bad as the, uh, the first. Oh my. Yeah. God, that was powerful wrenching. Right, I'm up. My right, viewers, not bad for the first time in a year or so. Still alive. That's got to count. What kind of ATA are you going to be on, Cortana, to save your engine? So, at the moment, I'm at about 28.50 RPM. Um, but once we get up to about 3,000 meters, we have to push up above 3,000. Good old Daimler Benz engines. Can you give us an yeah, exaggerated that. wing wiggle, please, Cortana? Visual. I uh, found Cortana. Our viewers, just do what the Dora does freaking best. Intercept freaking British bombers. American bombers, sorry. Alright, pushing yeah, up to 3,000 RPM. Roger Cortana. T's and P's. Oh my god, I'm in the red. <laughs> I'm in the red. It's alright, this plane lives in the red. Alright. There goes the uh, supercharger. Can you reduce your rate of flying, please, Cortana? Uh, not if I want to get to the bombers. No, I'm going to let Cortana do what she wants to do this time. And you guys are just going to have to work hard. Coming up on 12,000. Nice, wow. That's so a World War II there. plane, guys. A World War II plane doing that. 12,000 feet in a couple of minutes. The bombers are, the bombers are at 25. Oh my god, Cortana, what are you doing to Why? us? Why? Which was the lowest that these bomber formations right. would actually be flying. Intercept in World War II are bloody difficult, viewers. Did you make it a cold day, Cortana? Please tell me you made it a cold uh, you day. You know, I, I didn't. Oh. oh it's a engine. hot summer day. My T's and P's, <laughs> viewers. My T's and P's. Nursing my World War II aircraft. Yep, I'm going to have to reduce the rate of climb just a little bit here yep. at this point to uh, get more airflow through the cowling. Yep, please. Have you adjusted your cowlings at all? Nope. All right. Let me know if you do. And what's your exact airspeed, please, so I can plan? Uh, 350 kph and climbing. Right, that means I need to put my nose down, viewers. She is getting away from me. What is our target altitude? Like 30,000 to be over the bombers? You'll never get that chance, I doubt. Yeah, there's only 20 minutes before they drop the bombs. We burnt up a fair bit of that already, I think. It's very realistic, viewers. Um, I mean, they had radar in World War II, but they couldn't spot those bombers from, you know, hundreds of miles out. So, getting up in time to intercept the bomber was an extremely difficult art form to do. Tally on the bomber. Like, it, it. Was it not like when they crossing the channel they, they noticed them? Yep. So when we and then they had just, started to cross. just enough time to get up and intercept them. Yeah, the, this plane was amazing. It could go 40,000 feet. 40,000 feet for a World War II prop plane. Nearly nine. Wow, you're nine kilometers. How have you done that fly? Uh, Metzl Schmidt. Oh, you're in a Metzl Schmidt. Oh, you're a lot lighter than I am. I am. And you've got nearly 2,000 horsepower in that thing with MW50. Grand Grand Daddy's plane. You've also got that um, MK108 30mm boomstick. Yeah, but it doesn't have very many rounds for it. No, I know. Oh, someone sent me an excellent picture of all of the World War II German and British and Japanese rounds put together from 707, sorry, uh, 303 British, all the way up to the biggest of the 30 mils used by the different coalitions. It was really amazing to see the different round type. And the Mark 108 was a yeah. stub round. It was a really small, low velocity round. Yeah, but she was big. Yeah, so. was big. yeah you wouldn't want to be hit by it. Well, I don't like to boast, as you all know, viewers, but I've caught Cortana up. Matrix and Simba are the front leaders right now. Really? Altitude, you two? Uh, just about to hit. You two are yeah, cheating. You got your cheat on, I think. Did you make Sox it up to 20,000? Well done, so did you make it up to altitude, Bert? I am currently climbing through um, something like 23. All oh, right, Mustang near almost, almost made it. Correction, I'm at 25 according to this, and my supercharger finally engaged around 18,000 feet, but I just okay. had the cowlings all open from takeoff. All right, boys, there go the uh, the fighters. I'm a real they boy. Splitting, splitting Keep as up. fast as you can, guys. You get slow. Those, those. Oh my God, Cortana, what have you done? It's so big. Tubu go, Tubu go. Uh, yep. Right. Matrix taking trailing on the left. Them uh, going for the heart of the formation. Hits and a slapping attack. 
Right guys, remember she's not gonna handle it like an F-16 up here, so be careful with her. Wow, someone's conning. Someone's very key. Right now, the next thing, viewers, is maneuvering a World War plane, two plane up at 25,000 feet is a bit of an art form as well. If I pull back on the stick, I'm gonna spin. So, you've gotta be careful and mature about it. One bomber down, uh, 63 to go. Two bombers down. 61 to go. And some crap killed himself. Yep, that'd be me. Huh. Crap running in. Are we responding Ooh, it's gonna have secondary effects. Are we responding, Cortana? Um I mean you're welcome to try. Go on, uh, Simba. I genuinely don't believe that you're gonna be able to get up here in time. Yeah, but Simba's very keen. Very keen. On you, Simba. Guys, yes. when you attack from the back, go for the rear. Because if you go for the front, guys, everyone's going to shoot you. There's a coup first in there. Hold on, coup first, whoever you are. Another bomber down. Well done, you. Cap, web. MW50 on. Really, another kamikaze. Cortana, oh, you should know better. Oh no, that wasn't me. I, uh. Matt, you, I was aiming. I was aiming for, me. I was aiming for a bomber and uh, didn't see the one above. Took Perfect. out two B 17s though. Were, yes, you did. Yeah, uh, there were did. two uh, bombers crushing into each other. God, I've been hit and I'm wobbly. Oh, this is such a dangerous I occupation. I'm severely damaged. Just Same. Definitely not making it back. To I'm base. shaking all over the place. I was shaking Stevens, whoever that was. Well done. This is too hard. Give oh, F15. Yeah. Give F15. It just shows how when you had to attack, you had to do huge delta speeds to stand a chance of living in one of these attacks for you. It's huge delta speeds. And a big pack of you attacking all at the same time. We killed eleven. Oh, only my cannons are fire, or only my uh, machine guns firing. I lost the cannons. Uh oh, these are tougher than the JU88s, I reckon. Should my my prop stop working? Um, you'll need that. You burned out your engine. Yeah, no, they they killed my cooling. Uh, Zonda Commander Elba and Gate. Yeah, Zonda Commander Elba. That's the correct plane to do it with as well. Actually, they used older. Is that one on lines? Uh, you are the German I expert. Speed to catch them. Oh god! Nope. Oh, my plane's lost control. Lost control, viewers. Lost control. Oh, I out. I'm dead. They're too good. Uh, guys, where's okay. the canopy? Release. Uh, right side by the, just behind the crank. Thank you. Because yep. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to hit my elevators. Viewers, I got to punch I'm out. Still being chased by escort. They've hit my elevators. Well, the plane gets too fast and I can't get out. Now that is a dangerous occupation, viewers. We have killed 13 no guys, which is genuinely pretty awesome in my opinion. Look at Bird, the only plane alive is a friggin' Mustang. What is that all about? Maybe they think you're a friend. They don't want to shoot me. They think you're an escort fighter. That bull turret is everywhere, you bird, move! Oh my god, oh! Look at that, that bull turret found him. Go bird! Well done. Getting those, oh, it took two out in one run. What is that all about, Bird? I don't know, must be. I want to say the luck of the Irish, but I'm not Irish. Uh, oh, yeah. ah! Bird, you do not have to get shot in the face. Not your beautiful, beautiful face. Cortana, three kills. Matrix, two kills. Fly, two kills. Bird, two kills. Cat, two kills. We've killed a bunch of them, guys. Soft, did you ever catch them up? No. Yeah. And what we did do was quite... I think we did well, Cortana. How many, yeah. how many did we have? Seven of us? And Jump didn't really count because he decided to take a bomber. So six of us managed to kill 18 bombers fair and square.
I actually think that's pretty damn good. And we all died, apart from Burr, we're all dead, but... I actually thought that was genuinely impressive, guys. Come on, Bird. Oh, they're all concentrating their cannon on Bird. Remember, viewers, the only... Uh, tra the only bullets you see are the tracers. There are lots more bullets in the air. Go on, Bird. Go yeah, on, Bird. Yeah, don't try to zoom. It's fine. We will burn it out. Have my cooling hoping, fully opened. Hoping their bullets miss me and hit each other. Yeah, that would be good, Bird. Well done, Bird, for still being alive. Plus good. Got a P51. Another one down. How are you still alive? Are you catching up, Sock? Yeah, there's a P51 trying to catch up with them, but I'm going to slap out real quick. Roger. Winchester! Thunder Command! How did you miss the giant bomber? <laughs> Crap, Bird. He stalled his wing as well. Sock, it's, I don't want to be that guy, but it's all you to stop about 40 bombers. Oh, shop, stop! Yep. Yep. Yes, fly. We need, we need to talk with Bird. It's the second video where you miss the giant target. Does, doesn't he keep doing that? He I just, don't like big <laughs> targets, alright. He doesn't like the pressure. Dying. He doesn't like the pressure. Plus... Wow, well, Sock actually took out the P-51. I know, I was so... Uh, I was, uh, Spano just smacked him. Also, Bird, um, they're not leaving you in peace, by the way, just so you know that, as you probably figured out. You're going to get Zonda Commander Elbert by an American! Now, that's a good plane view, as a <laughs> jug. Again, I'm getting hunted. Poor Bird getting hunted. Well, at least I'm giving Sock a chance to get the bombers, or you guys to get up and get the bombers. More importantly, if chase you go, me. If chase you go, me. If you go underneath them, you might be able to, like, suck some of the bombs up with your airplane. That's the best bet we've got oh. at the moment, viewers. Do you want some information on the actual Zonda Commando I would like that right now. They actually tried to use every free fighter, so that was not in active normal combat. Yeah. So like young pilots in them um, took out all the guns and armor, actually, to, so they can climb as fast as we can. And a part of the Japanese kamikaze, uh, kamikaze uh, fighters they were not intentionally to die. They had their, their parachutes and everything, and what they should do was ram the enemy bomber and try to get the plane back home. If not possible, jump out, but stay alive. So were they trying to hit it with their propeller? Or were they trying to hit it with their wing? What was the... Normally they try to hit uh, uh, big impacts like uh, the wing structure or the tail. Some okay. tried to hit the, the, from front the canopy. And there was only one mission, actually, uh, on in the end of the war. The war ended too early, so they did uh, any other uh, uh, major mission of that kind. 21 down, viewers. 20 or 20 B-17s down. I would say it's actually bloody impressive, guys. Well done. Save yourself, Dan. Save yourself. Right, we'll get them with the ship. He was us. Ejected. Bombs, Bombs away. away. Right, now let's see if the script works. We've got a script designed by Paul that should count the amount of bombs hitting, and that should give us a good metric, viewers. Jeez, 504 bombs. Wow. Holy shit, my frame rates. Four hundred ninety-two bombs. What a brilliant script that is, by the way. Uh, Four hundred ninety-two bombs made it to target, and one way or another, it costs us. Wow, only two point six eight million. Warbird's so cheap and beautiful, guys. Welcome back, viewers. We're doing Generation One planes now. It's an epic decision. Do you choose the MiG fifteen or do you choose the Sabre? The MiG fifteen was a thoroughbred anti-bomber aircraft, which sounds good, and it is. The F eighty-six was a more general-purpose aircraft. But the problem with the MiG-15 is you've got to be a good pilot to use it properly. It's not easy to aim. And the low-velocity anti-bomber cannons are hard to use. A lot of recoil. Hence, I'm going for the new plane. I'm going for the F-86. And we might as well go up as Blob. Blob always Sabres works best. Don't have, 
<laughs> yeah, flippers oh, yeah. don't have flaps down. Uh, do something here. Roger, and we only have stores, so I don't think we'll really need it. Right, we'll let Cortana lead, guys, before you all shoot off and be unsociable. I'm looking at damp, by the way. Take off whenever you want, Cortana. We'll tag along. All right, she's punching it. All right, valued viewers, really good planes. Nine, early, late kind of 40s or early 50s, but description. Generation 1 jets. There were jets that were the 40s for all countries involved, but these are the, well, the, why are they called Generation 1 jets, Cortana, when they weren't actually the first generation? These are really the second generation. That's weird. Is it because they were the only generation that were in combat? Well, I mean, so keep in mind that the 262 was, I mean, was used in combat. Yeah, exactly. 262 right, was, that was World first War in combat and, yeah, and is first generation too. But the thing is, there's a massive leap in 262, between 262 and this, is night and day. Even though it's only less than 10 years, these are Did such good aircraft. Did you actually know that, that Focke Wolf had a design made uh, just before the end of the war for a fighter that, when you look at the blueprints, are extremely similar to the MiG-50. No, but I'm not totally surprised. Germans were so friggin' ahead of the game, guys. Yeah, so <laughs> when Soviet uh, Russia then um, got the plans, I bet they, they took some inspiration there. Because the high tail and everything Yeah. Or already in the Focke Wolf blueprints. I mean, that's what happened though. Everyone, as soon as Germany was beaten, everyone, everyone just scavenged for stuff to steal, didn't they? Everyone did. It's got the rockets, it's got the plane tech. Cortana, can I have a wing waggle, please? Sweet, it's not Cortana. Ah, where's she gone now? That MiG viewers, like I said, that MiG was a thoroughbred bomber interceptor and it was so fast, so fast. Can I have a wing waggle, please, Cortana Wana? Yay, visual Cortana. I'm coming. Does I am the only one who is like climbing as fast as he can? You don't need to. We're so overpowered in these jets. It's more about getting to them now as quickly as possible in terms of lateral. Also, brilliant in a dogfight. I know it sounds weird, viewers, for an early 1950s plane, but straight on guns v guns against even a modern. An F-16 will beat it, but it's not an easy job. These are really good planes. They are okay. light damn maneuverable and Brilliant tight. wing loading. Uh, you can punch it a bit, Cortana, now I'm catching you up. With that velocity we have, I think it's more rewarding to actually targeting the middle. So when yep. they try to evade, crash into each other. Fair comment, uh, Bly, and that would probably be a real thing, right? Because they did those post box formations in real life, didn't they? So they were a vul vulnerability to themselves when they got blown up. Okay, there we, uh, there we are. Straight right. up the nose. All right. Tally blow up. Here we go, Valley Viewingtons. A thing's about to happen. Fuel, bucket loads. Be aware of uh, compressibility. Right. You overspeed this thing pretty easily. Yeah, they hadn't quite uh, mastered aero compressibility at th th this point, viewers, unfortunately, so these were dangerous planes to fly in that respect. You've got to keep within this envelope, which is not easy when you're in a tense yeah, situation. High, high speed aerodynamics at that point were still uh, mm -hmm. not bad for that. Yeah, I mean, I know Germany already had a hype, uh, it's supersonic uh, 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 a wind tunnel. To test stuff, but yeah. It wasn't until the next generation, the Super Sabre and, and the MiG, what, this was the 17 Supersonic? I, was, I always forget that. Yes. It had yeah. afterburner, yeah. Right, so they just about got through the sound barrier at that point and got their compressibility sorted. But they're still super what dangerous pilot? to fly. Was the Hawker Hunter Supersonic or just the Oh, think, yes. Oh, was it? I was unaware yep, of that. in a dive. I think I'm Supersonic in a dive, guys. <laughs> From high enough, I yeah. bet. You could actually get the Hawk supersonic if you really pushed it. Didn't that Red Bull uh, skydiver yes. hit supersonic Go when you jump from yep. the atmosphere? Go high enough, the, the speed of sound gets lower and lower and lower until you can break it, like just by going like 100 miles an hour. Okay, fly engage. Wow, look how quick fly right, got there. Fire at me. Time is blown up. Uh, need rudder input in this at this altitude. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, just 
That Bring definitely that hit a bunch of guys. God, we're chewing. We're chewing them. Holy shit, I had a, I heard a supersonic boom. My closure rate was just too fast. I had to, I had to get out of there. Someone's gone supersonic. Yeah, yeah someone was. Super, supersonic Simba, huh? Right. Now we've actually got a... These planes are so fast for you as a closure rate can actually get so high it becomes almost an unstable gun platform. So we've got to balance our safety with not going too fast. Cap running in. Whoa. Okay. You say we follow the rules of safety. Jack. Right, I know. I'm scared too. That's not that's not Grimmy Prista. Not really. Uh, right. the comments. That's not my Grim Reavers anymore. Yeah. Running in. Oh, the spool times in this engine are horrible. Hits. I think rather than spraying and praying, guys, it's probably best to focus on a particular target. I'm just trying to figure out as myself as I go. Spraying and praying, you just you just lose so many bullets. Start the outside wings and work in. Only one down. <laughs> that can't be right. I. <laughs> They can't really uh, uh, engage me because I'm so damn fast. Yep. That's a thing, guys. One yeah, has turned are... around. Yeah, one's two turned are down. Two, two are now... Four down. L look like they go home. All right, yeah, that kill's coming in there, guys. Number three is now turning oh, home. Yep, yep. They're, they're bailing their, their bombs. Yeah, they are TB. Try to secure the airframe. I'm trying to be mature about this, viewers. I don't want to get shot, so I'm just doing one slashing run on one bomb and then I'm going round. Very, we, we lost no airframe yet. Yeah, everyone's doing well so far, guys. No one's done anything silly yet. <laughs> Sonic Commander Elvis! Mm -hmm. Oh, it will come. Oh, I love watching those 37 mil cannons hit. The whole plane blows right. up. Oh yeah, the 37 mil like like pop two to bombers. Mm -hmm. They still were not going down. Lies, Manchester. Wow, uh, you Another are allowed. The bus. You can come, guys, if you want. It's up to you. I believe that your choice, guys. I actually want to ask Katana what you say. I'd say maybe sprint home and see if you can get yep. back in the air. All right, guys. Russia on the way. Eight bombers down. Yeah, I think otherwise it would uh, interfere with our cost scale. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point, guys. We're, the jets are actually worth something at this point, guys. What's the weakest point or the most, you know, the vulnerable point for the 50 cows? Do you think? The engines. engines? Okay, and yeah, engines. I'll yeah. be going for the inner engine and the swing spar. Or maybe right. if you go in, in from front. Right, Simba, RTB. Uh, it's coming up. Canopy. All right. Okay, I'm looking on the map right now, and many B-17s are now exiting formation and uh, RTB. So they're not dead per se, but they might just be yeah, not effective. Yeah, actually two, no, three are uh, going down right now. They're talking towards Earth. There's one crash, there's the other one. Shit, Cap Winchester, that's a massive problem. Cap RT, uh oh, uh oh, what's happened to my plane? Pressability? This the... Unknown, where's the mark is meter, guys? Is the crashed? No, it is to the left, left of, of the, the speedometer. Some is jammed on my plane. I never went near mark. Sorry, viewers, may be a thing about to happen. Probably had an aileron get hit. Yeah, it's jammed, my ailerons are jammed. As in, they physically, I can't move. I'm out, viewers. Good lord, so fit to Bail out. Um, am I allowed another one? What's the, what's the score, guys? Yeah, bail out and then All right, another. Newington's. Oh my god, they pilot snipe me. Huh. Oh thing. no. Coming up behind the bomber, but firing my cannons, two gunshots I see coming from them, dead. Tell you what, these... S sorry. B-17s are bristling with guns compared to the Junkers, guys. Anyone notice that? They are bristling with guns. Yeah, it's not yep. called uh, Fortress for anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the, the top tends to be the weakest area for them defensively. Noted. For our viewers, big 15. How many can I take out by ramming? But of course, the plane, our planes are worth almost as much as theirs yeah, at this then, point. That's so. where your problems start, guys. I think it appears to have Oh, there they are. Oh my god, they're high. Not to worry, I can trade in a whole bunch of speed viewers. Uh, we have killed 17 already. At least. And that's the ones that died, the ones that turned around. I reckon we could about double that by the looks of the state of the remainder. Cap running in. Get off. Get her off. Yeah. Well, if you never fly, consider more fly with God. like 80 percent. Yeah, this is definitely the better plane for this, guys. I wiped out two out and one run. So much better than the Sabre. Running back in. Interestingly, I not killed any bomber, but I think I turned money home. Did you see that run, guys? Just smacked the whole bunch. Oh, they didn't die. Oh, come on. I saw 37 mic mics here. Oh, one's leaving. Come on, Cap. Do more. Do frigging more. With them being just, what, 8,000 feet higher, it's just a harder intercept, too. It these. really is hard intercept. And they're fast movers, guys. They had a lot of horsepower those things. I couldn't get quite the intercept here. Nope. I'm um, Ah, uh, Winchester. It's on the commando Elba. Got him. Oh yeah, Cap, he is going down. I'm gonna try and catch bombs with my face and save the save the town. Technically, we've Catch. killed less. We've killed less than last time, but it's not necessarily mean that we haven't turned a bunch back, viewers. A bunch may have just been turned back. Oh, come on, fly. Bring that sucker in, or whoever you are. You got yeah. Me. Oh, no. Just out of time. Maybe we'll hit some bombs. <laughs> No, All right. boys. I, I'm positioned to intercept the bombs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. Following. Oh shit, my frame rate. Let me know when they drop. Oh, they're dropping. They're... I've been formation with the bombs. Oh my god, that was mildly terrifying. Got some terrible uh, time. Yeah. Look For that, viewers. What would you freaking bombing raid? Multiple sexy bombing raid. That's what it looked like in real life, viewers. Pretty, oh god, that's terrifying! Look at that. All right, looks like all the bombs have landed. Can you do that thing you did, Cortana, to make it show? Here we go. And pause server, okay. please. All right, guys, done. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, Gen two, Gen three. So we're in the nineteen sixties now. Oh, we've had a good chat about what's best, and we still don't know. Now, if missiles worked well against these bombers, obviously the Phantom would be best. It carries the most missiles. It's got the best missiles. But missiles don't work very well. It's, it's almost a moot point. So Fly and uh, Matrix from the uh, Lead Nose Diesel Fighter. Uh, Simbas in the MiG-19. I went for that last time, and it's, it's pretty good. Sock MiG-21. You know, it's a reasonable choice. Me and Bird are in F5s. The cannon's easy to use, and it's an easy plane to fly. I really don't know, guys. We'll discuss it on the way up. Who's got it right? Who's got the best plane here for an intercept, guys? I'm not... They've all got positive. Remember, in viewers, that the missiles don't work very well against World War II bombers. That's um, the main problem we've got. MiG 19, I think, is the best. Because of its big twin 30mm NR 30 cannons. Yep. Roger. It's okay, flag can't fly F4 because it uh, drops through the earth. Ah, um, that's never a good call, uh, fly. Get something else. The MiG. Yeah, F1 it is. F4, if it were against Cold War bombers, viewers, the MiG-21 and the F4 would be best, obviously, because A, they're Mark II fighters, and B, um, they've got loads of missiles. But, like I said, missiles aren't just aren't that important for these uh, World War II bombers, how we have them modelled. So, what about the gun? I'm out running that MiG, viewers. <laughs> you know, fuel consideration is a real thing. Got to be a little bit careful. Have I got a fuel tank? Uh, no, right, I'm clean, so that's good. Uh, no, you don't. It's all right, I'll be all right. Sure. Do that running the MiG-21, that must be Cortana. Yeah, that's Cortana right there, viewers. Just dragging a big, heavy fuel load behind her. Simba's in the lead. Wow, Simba's in his friggin' rocket set. This thing is a beast, viewers. It was so fast for its time. It's unreal. Absolute powerhouse. Had one purpose in life, get to 40,000 feet, shoot down a B-52 RTB. When you think about they actually invented air-to-air -air nuclear missiles. Right. 
It's just the best way of taking down the bomber formation. What was it for the 104? That, that Jumo? Or what, what Genie. It or Genie. Genie, yeah. The small atomic tip. Actually, the German, what they model, the G, uh, could take one. We had some modified uh, in testing in Nevada. Mm, I don't know. But we never got nukes for them, only like. Yeah, I mean, you guys would be the ones wise. that needed them. You guys would have had the, uh, the bears coming over the border, probably, so. I love having a radar so bad, my eye actually identifies right? them quicker. Ladies and gentlemen, second gen aircraft. And they're terrible, terrible post op radars. Now, what was so bad about them? I mean, they, they generate the same amount of wattage output as a, you know, an F-35. It's the, it's, the, it's the processing power of the Cortana, I think, that made them so bad. There was no processing power in the 60s. And they were just oh, pretty open. And so you just couldn't do a lot with the signals that came back, even if they bounced back. Yep. The most impressive radar at the time, I guess, was the AWG-9 in the 70s on the Tomcat. That thing could see a fighter-sized target probably, I don't know, 70 miles away, head on, which for the time, which even now there's fighters out there in America use with radars that can't do that. Uh, right, let's see if those missiles do any damage, I guess. Comment down below, like, subscribe, donate to Cap's Patreon. Yes, please. Maybe even take a gander on Cortana's YouTube channel. Ooh. Odin Simba, I'm well reminded. Simba's in the fight. Sweet, absolutely no tone at all. Let's try that again, shall we? I don't even have them on radar. Go on, Socky Wocky. Yeah, Watch. someone blew it up. Sock. Box one. Lead nose oh, diesel that's fighter. One. The lead nose that's diesel fighter. Yeah, hit. Well done, Fox One, as they are actually killing. Sorry. Flare, flare, flare. Cortana Fox One. Appreciate that. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry, Sock. It was Ooh, the drone hit. and you went oh, man. Him, so I went, I, uh oh. I got him. Bomber's doing weird things! Oh, I'm scared! Jesus Christ. My gun is like a friggin' BB gun. My 20 mil cannons can't even touch them. Back in we go, viewers. Three down so far, but there's more been turned back, obviously. God, I just did the worst friggin' maneuver ever. I need bigger wings! Box two. And it run for something. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake, fly. <laughs> Please, guys. Sorry, Jeff. Just if there's a fight yeah, area coming in front like... of you, don't shoot. Because it's <laughs> no, it the game. it actually Can't made like one? a 90 degree turn to hit you. So actually, your engine is so much hotter that it don't want it to run for the bomber, but towards you. <laughs> and two bombers crashed again, each each other. Okay, I'm running in with guns. I mean, the shock waves of these missiles would disturb them, so. Cortana. Ooh, ouch. You know what? It takes uh, one down. Mm. What were you in? Yeah, it does. Racking uh, up quite the, quite the bill. I'll tell you what, you can see why that Sukhoi hit that drone by accident, because controlling a big plane up here with small wings is... It's like driving, a, driving an ice. It's really hard to do here. It's a speed difference, yep. Hasn't been practicing as intercepts. Yeah, in my case, I was sliding to the left, and... Um, Focusing on the target that I was strafing, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I crashed into another bomber. Huh. On exit. Could hit someone. That's the spirit, could hit again. Wherever you are. Those are Simba Fox 2s. Nice. What are you in, Simba? F5. Tell me when you're clear, because I've got my own Fox 2s about to come in. Alright. Clearing low. Okay. God, give me a tone, give me a tone. Give me any kind of tone right now. Bigger foul. Box two. Gun. Good splash. Right, let's do it. Twin in our 30s viewers. Big Russian anti So I cannon. count an additional... I've got an additional seven that have broken off in our RTB. Yeah. 
My missiles how took much, one down. How much time we suddenly have, cause we, we intercept them so early. And what cap, that's maybe a good idea. Maybe we should call out when we want to fire Fox 2 yeah. so everyone else is away. What? You mean the communication that me and Cap were doing? You're catching on? Crazy, huh? Yeah! I can learn, Simba. I can learn. Imagine Prove your Fox 2 being able to lock on further than 40 feet from your target. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm honest, yeah. On an F-16, F-18, you actually see what your Fox 2 has locked. Mm -hmm. And here you don't you don't nice. see it at all. It could... Simba's out high and right. Jeez, that going tough. That's... Oh, 23. Plus a whole bunch turned back. We're doing great, guys. You know what? Can't even friggin' see the coast. We've done so well. Gen 2, Mark 2, well, not all of them, but Mark 1 to 2 capable planes, best planes. Alright, birds in the mix of the bombers using guns, so. Same, I think most of us are. Watch Fox 2s. Got a Fox 1. Definitely have a bomber. I think it's the first time in VF 1 I actually, or in VF 1 it's the first time that I actually can zoom climb directly on the altitude. It's in my rolling in lower right side of the formation. Cap, center. Yeah, some are dropping bombs on RTB. So I like. Sorry, I used my face. Oh, they've gone weird, bombs have gone weird. Why did that happen? Oh, they've all changed formation all of a sudden. Mind, adapt, adapt. Fox adapt. one. Holy shit. Okay, it grabbed another target, but still P70. Oh, we are chewing him to pieces, guys. 26 plus returns. Oh, I hit one of the ones that was already damaged. 15 to remaining, guys. I'd say that's pretty damn fine. Oh, oh I let no diesel fighter in there, look. Is that you, bird? Oh, smack. That was not me. Sod it. I just did a lead nose, lead nose, lead nose. Get off. Fox one. That Winchester. Go for my last one. All right, guys. Well done. Well friggin' done. Fox two. Oh, one of them's bailing out now. Oh, Gen two, yeah. Gen three. Best of the generations, value viewers. Okay, whoever ran in right now, that was nice kill. That Mig twenty one was nice. Thank you. 35 officially dead, about 20 unofficially dead. About 10 still going. No, 12 still going. Okay, fly hot with Fox 2s. Do it careful, there's an F5 just going through right now. Okay, save me when he's away. Yeah. Winchester. Alright, get out of the way, bird. Get in front of him, not fair enough. Alright, fire at will. There's measly ranks of bombers. Fox 2s. Directed. Yeah, and a kill. Well done, fly. Do another. Get running in with guns. Oh, it's in a mirage. Look at that. Look at that closure speed, viewers. Whoa! Mirage being a uh, rocket with wings. The rudder in this thing is such trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't like going below 200 knots, pretty much. Well done. Do World War II planes actually evade, do evasive no, maneuvers when they so. get no, they didn't have I'm not sure what those bombers are doing, but it's not something I've commanded them to they do. Wouldn't, they wouldn't yeah, have done yeah. it anyway. They wouldn't have done it anyway. Too dangerous. Correct. Well done, you lot. My guys. Fly running in guns. Sure my guys. Oh, he's still taking them out. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> well done. I raced him from a stale. All right. All right, that was probably my last pass. They're yep. dropping bombs. Bombs are away now. Yep. There's only there's only half a dozen of them. Ha 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 ha. Less than ten made it through. That's how sexy GR can be, viewers. Oh my gosh, they're so strung out. Only one of the bombers actually dropped, and they're all RTB. Huh? Who? Yeah, wow. There we go. I mean, Got 41st, 41st kill. 
And yeah, there's still more going down that are probably gonna hit the dirt. 42 kills. Only eight bombs made it friggin' through! <laughs> or whatever, B17 carries. Now that is not a bomb target. Only 12. <laughs> Another bomber down. 12 friggin' bombs. 42 deaths. And it was expensive. It was 113 million. Brilliant. Welcome back, Gen 4, bog, 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 F14, 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 no F16s. We've had a chat, and um, we're, uh, some of us are going to change to sidewinders only, guys. The reason is the sidewinders fuse properly on the bombers. The Amrams don't. Viewers, because what happened last time in 4th Gen is we just ended up killing each other. It was incredibly inefficient cost-wise. This time we're going to go up as a blob and organise a real formation as if your life depended on it. Yeah, that's the reason why I actually want to get up 5v... We phoenixes yeah. before you other guys get into the blob, you know? Roger. I'm getting all right, Fox 1 so I don't friendly fire anybody. Suckington. Well, what were the Hornets doing there? You don't worry about just... Hornets. You just focus on your own plane. Yeah, of course, but he's running run on my runway! Ah! Bye bye. Hey, Cap. Is there some kind of problem here? <laughs> yeah, that was nearly a crash. Let's see. My view is 4th Gen Technology, 1980s, 1990s. Yeah. Already target locked. Wow. And sorted. AWG9 value viewers. Way ahead of its freaking time. Sock setting Switch. data link, fire to fighter. Copy. Simba's got that link on. First locked up. Boom boom. Fox Street. That's pretty ambitious. <laughs> That's Matrix at his best. He thinks he's got his A120D3 again. 64 mile shot on a uh, at low altitude. target that's barely moving. <laughs> I'm not even going to take that shot with the Phoenix. No, you need, I'll suggest 60 miles for a Phoenix at best. Q Matrix's yeah. favorite phrase. Bollocks! <laughs> Fly <laughs> six times, fox free. Punch it, Hunger Mire. To outer space! And beyond, guys. Pretty much straight down on the bombers. Look at that, Viewingtons. See that? That's mad sick. And he's got massive yes. anti bomber warheads on as well, viewers. Don't forget that. I believe Fly did a thing, guys. I don't see any burning wreckages out there. There's one. Uh, one but, but I'm there already getting kills here. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting kills now. Five kills. Cortana got one. Phoenix. Changing to Fox 2s. Fox 3. And Cortana Fox 3 again. Fly RTV. Behind you guys, so I'm going to wait and get around. Yep, I'm gonna move into the back. Yeah, I'm moving to the back. All right, guys, eight down already, man. Hold well on for your Fox threes. Uh, if somebody would rather not RTB and tie up the fighters. That would be a great help. Russia. Yeah, you know, some cat. Probably do that. I'm beside them now. Moving yeah. behind. How, back are you, how far are you going behind, Simba? Uh, I'm probably going to stay maybe a mile or two, just out of their gun range. But I will let you take first crack. Tony in, behind. Yep, let's see if they're conning. Okay, I'm jump now on the P-51 here. I'm two miles behind. Am I clear to start shooting? Cleared hot. Firing. So I was tracking. Okay, I rippled up the Thunderbolt formation now. Box 3. All is working. Box 3. Who's the guy in with them? I'm one more behind shooting. Matrix is deciding what east. Box 3. Who? Oh. 
Oh god, um, my frame rate. Tomcat, get out. Tomcat, break high and left. Uh, sorry, I got lost. My frame rate went to zero. Yeah, me too. I'm almost done, guys. All right, Simba's in a high AOA waiting for you to break out, Cap. Faradol's are right behind them, doing 200 knots. Winchester, 12 missiles out, turning home, or turning back. Next guy. All right, which way are you breaking? Left. Which way are you breaking? Left. All right. I'm Simba's out. Simba's engaged. Simba. Is that far? Because Cortana is that because they're dropping so many bombs now that our frame rate is going down? No. I don't it, know. It was the formation. They got confused. Happens every now and then. Divided by zero. I've got to work it out now. Broke a Simba okay, Wimper. Back. Cortana, Fox 1. Fox One's pretty safe back, guys. Simba, is that you disengaging? Nope, I'm going through my Fox. Fox Twos. Okay. Alright, that bomber's dropping out of the formation. Simba's going around. Next guy, I only in got you go. nine left, so engage. All these damn Hornets and Phantom uh, Tomcats is going in front of me. What's that problem? I've been warned. Spike! Well, I'm gonna go ahead and RTB. I've still got. Yeah, me too. There's, there's no point. We're just we're doing things. All right, Fox two. All right, guys. I think we've reached that point. It's pretty much free for all. Tim, we get your last missile out. Holy spike! Let's go and do stuff. Holy shit! Does that mean we're allowed to use guns? Yeah, I'm going to have guns now, guys. About 230 knots. Whoa, it's Fox 4. Ooh, awkward. Expensive. Expensive and awkward. No, it wasn't me. Hmm. I'm alive. Go and land it, and it won't count you dead. No, I don't think it uh, registered on me as a Fox 4. Okay. Oh, my nose is... My nose is pretty shred to pieces. I not even noticed. Oh, that paddle. Oh, most of the bombers that are still in the formation are streaming something or another. Are there still... Are there people in the fray? Confirm. Affirmative. Go to guns, go to guns. Everyone go to guns at the same time. Finish up, guys, finish up. Don't do anything stupid, don't crash. Oop. Like that. Cortana. Uh, no, that wasn't me. Huh. Well, speed. Huh. Well, there I goes. just saw the F-14 register. Do the others have a problem that has not that, that fly F-14? Just about doable for me. I, got it was, I had the problem with the F-14 last week, same thing. Ooh, I gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, John, finish up the last bombers anyway. Yep. Uh, Kurtan, is it okay if I just despawn? Yep. Uh, yeah. Running AMD 2 cap, but looks like it's a 14 problem here. Last bomb up. There are none left. They've all turned on. They're all uh, there are two still down going. or turned. They've turned back. I'm watching cap chase one. Yeah, they are not heading towards the target area. He's winning this fight as well. Suck it, not bad. Uh, Cortana, there's one, two caps. Left, yeah. Uh, yeah, left, it's still at 2300 for I think the one at Angel's 25 actually might be um, still going in the one, it's on the cap's nose. I mean, they're currently heading towards Saint-Pierre-du-Mont and not Con. So, if they want to drop their bombs in that direction, that's fine by me. It's fine by Cortana. Um, because it'll still register as them not having dropped them on the target. So, you're not recognizing the people of San Dermont, yeah, Cortana? Right. That's what you want to yeah, say. Yeah, no, they're not people. 
Right, I think this job done, isn't it, guys? Valued viewers, welcome to the end. And a beautiful data set, a lovely curve and a line of best fit we could draw. Warbirds, the hostiles, got through with 492 bombs. We shot down officially 22 of them, and it cost us 2.68 million in Warbirds. Generation 1 fighters. Dis very disappointing. 432 bombs got through, 20 hostiles were called officially, and 4.5 million it cost. Generation 2, Generation 3. Amazingly, only 12 bombs got through, one bomber. Officially, 42 hostiles destroyed. And it cost us 113 million. And finally, Generation 4. Sorry, I've written that wrong, haven't I? Zero bombers got through. In fact, zero bombers didn't get within 50 miles of the target. Officially, 49 dead, but of course, 64 actually died. And it cost us $220 million. Most people being children and just crashing their planes into them. But that's it, guys. Very similar result as we got last time, which you would expect. It was a tougher fight because there were more bombers and they were tougher. Cortana, what do you think? I would almost argue we did better on Gen 2, 3 than we did in Gen 4. Because of the cost, it yep. cost us essentially double, and the difference was 12 bombs. The biggest problem was the loss of two F-18s and an F-14. Oh. F-14B, 86 million. Okay, so it is the Gen oh. 2, Gen 3, the winner today then, guys. They just did best. And, I think so. And the airframes, we lost a couple of airframes, but they just weren't that expensive. They're more in the 20 million range, whereas 4th Gen, we're in the 70 million range, obviously. So another argument that we could have is whether or not, instead of doing gun runs and placing our, vi our aircraft in danger that way, if we just used our missiles, came back, rearmed, and then just used up all of our missiles for a second run and still had time left over. Fair comment, Sock. We need we need a GCI making that decision for us, wouldn't we? Battle Space Commander. Well, we would need a GCI. We would need airplanes to take off at separate times, like mm -hmm. a or a plan at all. Required. Oh, we need a plan. Yeah, Sock's right. You need, mm, yeah. need a proper plan for that and a, and a commander of some kind. Yeah. So, but fair comment, Sock. Guys, I really enjoyed that as I always do. A cool ton of things as it gets us to fly some funky planes. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.